After a long stretch. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get on a holiday without Beryl and the kids. You won't regret it, Arthur. Regret it? You put your foot down. I can't wait to get there and enjoy it. Right. I can see us now. On the beach, beers in hand. Yeah. Resting in the shade of a couple of well-built blondes. Nothing. Opportunity, Arthur. <laughs> Relax, and wine. We're on holiday. Yeah, I'm sorry, Trevor. So he said, I can't stand your rabbiting any longer. So have you got any more coffee, Bill? Oh, yes. So, well, well, well. Oh, yeah. So anyway, I turned round. I turned round. I turned round to him and I said, either you apologise or one of us is going to have to leave. And he turned round to me and he said, well, where would you go? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> cheek. Well, I think... Milk. Oh, so anyway, I said, marriage is supposed to be give and take. And he turned round to me and he said, all right, give me the car keys, I'll take you back to your mother's. <laughs> well, it seems I said, I don't want to go to my mother's, are you? So I went upstairs <laughs> and I packed a suitcase. And he said, well, where are you going then? And I said... I'm not. This is yours. <laughs> <laughs> well, so anyway, he said, well, I'll go on holiday then. I haven't been anywhere decent since I was evacuated during the war. <laughs> <laughs> so I turned round to him and I said, sugar. <laughs> I said, well, this will be the same thing then. You'll be going to a safe place, away from the enemy. <laughs> <laughs> Shake it when I'm being witty. Any <laughs> <laughs> more biscuits, Beryl? Oh. <laughs> really, I'm not taking this all very well, Beryl. The going off like that. You haven't mentioned it once since we got here. Well, I, I know, it's because you're upset. <laughs> well, I must say, I think it's too much. Leaving us to do all the work while they go off enjoying it. <laughs> well, I know my Trevor. He'll be lying flat on his back on the beach right now. Good. The big end's gone for a start. The whole thing's seized up. When did you last have it checked? When it passed its MOT. Yeah. How long ago was that? It expires next Friday. <laughs> well, this is a fine place to break down. Halfway to our destination, miles from anywhere. We'll have to hitch a lift to civilization, arrange to get it towed in. Where are you going? I'm going to hit your lift. We're going that way, not that way. Well, we were, but we can't now, can we? Why not? What about our holiday? Well, I'm sorry, Arthur, but what with the recovery fees and the repair bills, I can't afford it now. I don't care about that. I'm not going back. I'm going on holiday. We'll hire a car. With what this lot will cost me, I couldn't afford to hire a pair of roller skates. I'm going on. Do you hear me? I'm going on! Have a nice time. Send me a postcard. But it was your idea in the first place. I'll save up. We'll go next year. What are we going to do now, then? Are you sure you don't mind? Of course I mind, but I don't want to go home. I want to go on holiday, so what choice do I have? So if I change my mind and come with you, you agree to pay half the cost of the repair bills, yes, etc.? Yes, yes, yes. I suppose I shall have to hire the car when we get there as well. Well, I don't see why not. May I suggest a nice big limousine? May I suggest you get stuffed? We can hire a nice big car. We could sleep in it. Save on hotel bills. Sorry. Just get over there to that garage and get them to tow that heap of yours in before we get fined for littering the countryside. Not a heap. Four new tires on it.
I'm doing most of the paying. at home until you came round. Well, at least we got away for a few days. <laughs> Vera is bound to get very upset when she gets here. Well, you don't deserve any sympathy. Not upset about me, upset about the car. <laughs> Still got six months HP to go on it. And haven't paid for the tyres well, yet. Well, with a bit of luck, she'll black your other eye. Look, this isn't all my fault, Arthur. If we got home, like I suggested, we wouldn't be here now, would we? Wasn't a bad idea. Have a bit of a break. Well, we got that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shouldn't they be here by now, Vera uh, and Beryl? If they're going in one of Paul's old bangers, they won't be here till the end of the week. That's all right. Not as if we're going anywhere. <laughs> we were going to enjoy ourselves, you said. Live it up a bit. Bit of debauchery, I think you said. Yeah. Mind you, I do quite fancy the ward, sister. The one with the comforting bosom. <laughs> Well, in your position, you'll have a hell of a job to put it about a bit. <laughs> Can't really see you taking a nurse in your arms, either. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, I don't know what we're laughing at. We're in trouble, aren't we? Yeah. Well, you're in more. Here comes Vera. <laughs> I'm sorry, Vera. Oh, my pet! Oh, oh you poor Vera. Are you all right? Oh. Look at your poor old, oh, what have you done? Oh. oh, I was so worried when I got the phone call. I, oh, Trevor. Oh, I'm so glad you knew. Oh, Vera, the cars are right off. Never mind the car as long as you're in one piece, my And I. <laughs> you men, we let you out of our sight for an hour. Now look what you've gone and done. <laughs> Vera and the kids are on their way in one of Paul's old cars. I came by train. <laughs> I had to change twice, but don't worry, they will be here eventually. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you've come, Vera. Oh, Trevor. Oh, look after you, my love. We'll soon have you back home amongst the pets. That's where you belong. I'd, I'd like that, Vera. In fact, if it hadn't been for Arthur, I'd never have gone off in the first place. made you something special. Oh. We had your dinner all prepared. <laughs> I've got you a lovely piece of steak, dear. Uh. And here's your first course. <laughs> <laughs> Chicken soup. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Now, there we are. <laughs> Not too hot, is it? No. Good. Hello, Dan. Feeling better? Yeah. That's the spirit. There's your paper. I've got a new temporary job at the laundry. So if you want your trousers pressing free of charge, just say the word. Mm. Well, you don't look too bad, Pop. Uh. Mum's got you a nice piece of steak and I've been down to the shops to get you some ice cream. Oh, and uh, Trevor and Vera are coming round this evening. I oh. suppose they can't let Father have that car. They're not. I've sold them one of mine. Oh, no, not the one that burns oil after you turn the engine off. Oh, no, this one's a beauty. <laughs> 150 quid's worth. Vera paid him. Oh, yes. Apparently she got Trevor heavily insured against accidents. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you don't have to worry about them all. No. They've all done really well while you've been away. Yeah. Lorraine's got her maintenance money from Raymond. Nigel's got a job. Tracy's doing very well at work. And now Paul's sold a car. <laughs> oh, what? Is it this? Is this yeah. what you want? Yeah. There. There, what is it? 
Well, I, I really do appreciate all the kindness and, and consideration that you're showing me, and, uh, well, this seems to be as good a time as any, as, uh, as you're all doing so well. <laughs> Nigel owes me 24 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> 